Hello! Today we will be exploring ClassKick. ClassKick is a web app that can be used by teachers to create assignments, provide individual feedback, upload PDFs, and monitor student learning in a face-to-face -face or virtual classroom setting. To get started, you'll need to first make sure that you have created a ClassKick account. Make sure to continue with your Google account. After you have created an account with Google, you are ready to get started. Take a look at the menu located on the left hand side. Let's start with the rosters. To create a roster, you're simply going to click on the plus icon, select new roster, name the roster what you'd like. first option you have is to add students manually by tapping their names. The other option you have is after you have created an assignment, you can choose assign and you'll notice that there is a class code on your roster and there's also a link icon. If you click the link icon, it will allow you to copy the link and you can post that link in Google Classroom so that your students can easily join and type their own name. ClassKick has a variety of tools in the slide taskbar. Familiarize yourself with the taskbar and make your PDFs and digital assignments bump up to the next level. Now that you know how to create a roster, let's get started with creating an assignment. Select Assignments on the menu bar, then select the plus icon in the top right hand corner. You can choose to create a new blank assignment, create an assignment from a file, or you can choose to browse ClassKick's assignment library. We're going to choose a new blank assignment for this purpose. You can name your assignment what you'd like and you have the option to provide a description. You can also classify your assignment, assignment by providing the subject, grade, and selling who has access. So let's say you'd like to add a PDF to get started. You have something that you have previously downloaded on your computer and you are so excited to turn it into a digital activity. Select the camera icon, select upload from computer, select the PDF that you would like to add, and ClassKick will give you the option to import all pages or you can drag to select the pages that you want. You can choose to add another or you can finish. And there we have it. The PDF has been converted to my ClassKick assignment. Now let's say you'd like to add some fill in the blank. You can choose the dashed box option. And you can add an acceptable answer. Maybe you don't have a PDF in mind and you'd like to start from scratch. You can also select the capital T to write your own problems. By selecting the add multiple choice option, I can select a correct answer. I can add points, select save, and now I have a multiple choice question that is ready to go for my students. Let's say my students are still having trouble grasping this concept and I'd like to give them an audio lesson. I can select the microphone tool and I can select a file that I have already recorded or I can simply start recording now. Maybe you'd like to provide extra help by providing a video. You can select the link option, give the link a title,
paste your URL, click Save, and now you have an additional tool to help your students be successful. Classkick may not be perfect to use every day, but it's perfect for giving students a quick formative assessment. For example, a text structure passage, testing a skill, reviewing key concepts, remediating standards where students need direct feedback, or even creating digital worksheets from a PDF. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you have enjoyed the Classkick tutorial and I look forward to hearing how you're able to use it with your students. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button. Have a wonderful day.